Check out this amazing video of the Perseverance rover's coring drill taking a sample of rock on the Martian surface on March the 10th. Scientists on the rover team are exploring the rim of Jezero Crater after the rover spent almost four months climbing up the crater wall, getting to the top on December the 12th last year. Since then, Perseverance has taken five core samples and analyzed 83 more rocks from the huge variety in an area called Witch Hazel Hill. That pace of sampling is way faster than previous campaigns when scientists were struggling to find enough different kinds of rocks to bother sampling them. NASA says this is because the crater rim contains once molten rocks that were blasted out of the surface of the planet billions of years ago by asteroid impacts, and that has created samples from many different levels below the red planet's surface, potentially including rocks from Jezero Crater itself. It hasn't all been plain sailing for the rover. Some early attempts to sample igneous minerals formed from magma deep in Mars's crust failed due to them crumbling and falling apart. After moving to a different area a few hundred feet away, and thanks to some fancy techniques from the rover team, they've now successfully cored and sealed a sample from this kind of rock, which is believed to be full of serpentine minerals formed when large amounts of water react with iron and magnesium-bearing minerals. Perseverance will continue to sample the Witch Hazel Hill area for the near future. It's awesome to see this amazing science being done on the surface of another planet, but of course it'll all be for nothing if we can't come up with a good plan to return the samples to Earth for a full analysis. The Mars Sample Return mission is very much up in the air at the moment. That's today's short. I'll see you back here tomorrow.